Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to show you that what to do if my cars this cylinder heads this bolt threads they are damaged and now I have really situation that when I install I am now installing this big cylinder head bolts in these holes in that way I notice that this just central, that bolt. There is a situation that when I try to tighten, when I tight and I insert that more fast and, and tight, that my bolt, it, it is slippery. There is no any force that, that when normally we tighten bolts like in that one in here. This is okay threads. And now when I try to fasten that bolt, it don't move anymore because there is this bolt and it is so durable. And this is normal way in cylinder heads. And there we can see this bolt in their inner area. But in that one, that just this central one in here, there is now situation that when I try to tight, tight, tight that and fasten, this moves always. And now there is situation that these bolts, these cylinder head threads, they are damaged. And then when I take that out, that my bolt, it is also, now I rotate and it is so, so easy to rotate that because there is those threads they are damaged now I rotate and then I I take also these tongs that kind of tongs that I can take this my bolt away and then when we look that bolt it is that thread area is normal but in that area there was interesting things and look that if you can see, there is small aluminium parts, look. If we can see that when we take that bolt away and if we can see those small aluminium parts, what that means? It means now that this my car's cylinder head block, block is damaged. Really. And now I am talking that area and now I a little bit rotate that my engine, we can see those block. And now I am talking that this area in here, where those bolts goes directly, like in here, there's example, one of these my bolts, they goes directly in so deep, it is something like that amount in here. They goes very deep in here. Now this my cylinder block, that area where are those holes, it is now damaged. And how I can repair that case? Because now I have engine in here, but I can't install these bolts, cylinder head bolts back. And now I need to repair that issue. And this is then quite this is possible to repair and now when we look look in here now there is a situation that the central bolt is now damaged and there is also thing that I can't let this one bolt away because there is so high pressure in inside those piston areas that I have to be all of these bolts Okay, one, two, three, four, five bolts and five in here. All of those ten bolts, what looks like that, they must be in very tight in here, in this deeper in the inner area. And I can't let one bolt away because then I have leak 100% in that my cylinder head, that area in here. And we can actually go to look that what it looks like because because there is this leak already. I noticed 
that in here you can see that in that area there is oil leak and it come from just in here because this bolt threads in here inside is damaged and also in that area there was also leak but I, I, I already repaid that earlier this another bolt but now the central bolt what is in here what is now damaged there is so easily seen oil leak and oil goes that cylinder head and cylinder block this connection line because there is no anymore that big bolts force what keeps those parts together okay and then then we start to look at how I can repair that Okay, and what it means if I have in one engine bolt and then when I take that engine bolt away like in cylinder head and then I notice that there is small aluminium parts in this to get her this uh, bolt, this thread area. What that mean? This means now that this is really bad uh, damage because now this our bolts thread area in this inside hole it is damaged because these small parts they are now coming from this engine's cylinder head area and that it means that if we have any aluminium parts it is message that now I have issue and now this my bolt it is cylinder head bolt and this bolt belongs in this Toyota RAV4 cars at this engine and this engine is 2 liter VVTi engine and there is really co common issue in very high mileage if we have drive about 300,000 miles then there can be happen that uh, one or two cylinder head bolts there is damage and issue in this uh, cylinder head block threads where is this aluminium the issue is not in this cylinder head bolt, but the issue is in cylinder head, head block. And next we go to look that cylinder head block, that what is look like. Okay, and then when we have get this new bolt, I saw that how we can start to install that bolt and how we do that in, well, how we do in here new threads. threads. Okay, and we need now new tools, and let's go to do those new tools next. Okay, and then when we are planning to install that new uh, cylinder head uh, repair replacement bolt, we need some tools and we can purchase all of these parts in ebay.com. And next I will show also that in how we can find these specific parts. And this first one, what we need is that kind of tool what make new threads to this cylinder head bolt. We, we have hole in there and in that tool we can do new threads. And then we need adjusting part what is in that kind of tool that we can do this deep this thread because in this my engine there is really big, big and long this hole and then we need that kind of tool that we can rotate this my tool in this hole in that way that I insert that in here in here and then I rotate that and then we can do this new threads and then of course we we need this uh, uh, drill pipe that we can do this hole suitable and then a little bit bigger drill pipe and these all parts belongs now to this Toyota's 2.2 liters gasoline VVTi engine and these sides are now 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 so that this thread is 14 millimeter and then we need 14 millimeter thread and then also for this uh, 14 millimeter drill pipe in here and then we need also a little bigger 
thread what is 16 m16 that we can do those holes usable okay and then we start to do that new thread and let's go to look my engine area next okay and this my thread uh, working in here starts so that I have this thread tool what makes new threads and I install that in here and then when I have this uh, this rotate tool now I fasten the tool in here this area and then I start to rotate that carefully insert my this tool in here and then, then I think we can also take a little bit better view we can see and now I first I, I start to do this 14 millimeter thread and idea is that I have to keep that my tool in same line like this hole same plane and then I only carefully I rotate that and suddenly this tool can be look open little bit of that area now we have better view in here you can see you can see that how this tool start to go in deeper in there Okay, good. You carefully. I press and I press. On. Okay. Now I made mistake and I have to be really carefully because this is very sharp tool that I don't destroy that. Sorry, my mistake. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, excellent. Now this my and now this my tool starts to rotate. Look, now it it goes nicely. Now now it is easy. And then when I rotate like one rotation, and then I need to reverse like half rotation, that those small aluminium parts goes away. And then I only rotate that in that way, and now we can see that this my tool is in position. And then we need to check that, that this my tool is just directly in the same plane like in that one, in that way. Okay, and it looks good. It looks good that my situation. And then I take this extra tool, what fits in here, because. I have to rotate that so deep that it goes in same plane in here. And this deepness is now about let's take my measurement tool. And it these are in centimeters, it is eight centimeters, and it is in inches about two and a half, two and a half inches. Estimate if I calculate right, eight centimeter deep. And now I, I have in my tool in here, and then I start to rotate. Look, and then I rotate that my thread bolt totally in their inner. And remember that when I rotate three rotation, then in half rotation back, like in one, two. Three and then half in back, and then okay one, two, three and then back, and then this my machine is doing those those threads in there excellent, and now I rotate in that way, and this is nice job. This is easy when we have high quality tools. Remember these all of my parts. They are made in in Europe. There is no any there is no any 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 poor quality parts. 
Then I think that one of these my drills, it is made in South Korea. It is like Samsung quality. And it is quite okay. Samsung tools. Okay. Now I rotate. And let's look. Now this my tool is so deep. And I am I am going deeper. In that way. And then a little bit back. Okay, good. Then back. And that way. Good. And my real red tool is so deep. And then when I install that my machine, look, there is that kind of hole. And then when I rotate that, this hole goes like in and then in out. And I rotate in another direction. And now I insert that in my tool in that way and we can go through that how it goes in there. 